So it is day seven of Vlogmas. Welcome back to everyone who's been following my festive Vlogmasy adventures. Um, today is Thursday and I'm just at home. I've just finished work and it is basically my Friday. Whoop whoop! Because I am on annual leave tomorrow. So me and Dave have a tradition where we go into the city and do some shopping. Um, yeah, so we'll be doing that tomorrow. So this evening I just need to make a list of the shops that I need to hit. Um, so I'm prepared and organized. Um, and we usually go for some nice food and relax. Um, and I'm wearing this weird shirt this evening that has um, this bird on it. Well, I love it, but some people comment on it and say, say it's a bit odd. Um, or some people say that they like it. Um, I think it's because it's very eye-catching, this sequined bird um, but I like it yay so I'm going to relax now and have my dinner and I will chat to you guys later so just finished dinner and I'm up in my room just grabbing some knitting and then I think I'm going to catch up on some things that I've recorded on the TV downstairs um, and do some knitting I haven't watched much TV at all this week so that might, might be what I do um, I just had um, I showed my dinner there I think um, and I just I always mix ketchup and mayonnaise together and um, use it for my chips as a dipping sauce and I know a lot of people that do that um, and I don't know maybe I imagined it but recently I think I saw an ad for a pre-bottled one and I think it's called like mayo ketchup it's not very original name but I might be completely wrong but maybe you guys know I think it might have been Heinz I'd still probably just go with the ketchup mayonnaise separate bottles squeeze it in a bowl if required kind of approach rather than buying a bottle of the pre-mixed stuff because it, it probably would contain extra bits um, but anyway you don't care about ketchup and mayonnaise sauces <laughs> probably so um, yeah this evening I think I might cast on a new project um, because I want to test out eh, these things that are fighting me um, the nine inch circulars there I don't know if I'm gonna like them so I think I'll do an afterthought everything sock cuff to cuff and just knit a big long tube socky tube but look how tiny that is I don't know if my hands are gonna like this one little bit also how cool are my Christmassy nails the bomb they're like red and shiny. She was trying to put an extra layer of glitter on these, but they have a bit of shimmer in them already. So I said, no, Miss Nail Technician Lady, you will not do that. You will just give me the optimal level of red. And these are very red. They're not, it's not even showing up as red as they are. Like I look freakishly pale. But yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, got Christmassy nails. She said um, she's done, when I went to see her this morning, she'd um, done already five women's nails and they were all red. So Christmas is upon us. Red nails everywhere. Walking in the winter 
Stumpy sausage fingers aren't really sure if they like these nine inch circulars. Um, I think once I get past the ribbing of the sock, I should hopefully be a bit quicker with the stockinette. At the moment, it's all fingers and thumbs. But only I'll do a short cuff, maybe 10 15 rounds, and then I should be hopefully up and zooming. So I think I'm going to call it a night for the vlog tonight. Um, I'm going to um, try and put these clips together and hopefully get it up before I go to bed. And yeah, hope everyone is having a wonderful day wherever you may be watching this from. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. The key the fella. Say hello, pretty kitty. Say hello, pretty kitty. Who's a pretty kitty? Who's a pretty kitty? What are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> Boy. <laughs> I'm trying to change the channels. <laughs> Kitty. Mm, cute.